All right, so this is my 1970 Olds 455 out of our Olds 98. Here's a quick look at it as it sits. We may have some issues inside. We'll, we'll know when we get this apart. So let's go ahead and dig in. What size is this? We've noticed right off the bat that when we pulled this valve cover off the driver's side, there's a little bit of rust right there on that rocker. So they pulled that spark plug out. We pulled this spark plug out right here. Uh, actually, it's. Oh, uh, it's that one? Uh, which one is it? This one. That one this there. one right here has got water on it. There we are. I don't know how well that's focusing, but that one's wet. So. Yeah, that valve spring's broke. It looks like it might be. It's got a broken valve spring. It looks like it. It looks like You're it. looking at it now. Yeah. It's out. It's moved. It's out. It's well, moved. let's get the rest of the plugs out, Tom. We'll, we'll spin it around because it looks this like it's looks on us. Looks like it's big piss of blood after this one. Yeah, I didn't help this thing way heavy. Yeah, you got a hold of it, Mark? Yep. Jesus. There's a whole good thing. That's two tubes. Yeah. Yeah. Watch that tube. Let's see that. Why don't we put this thing over? Hang on. Let me see. Ooh, yeah, there's a foot buster. Let's move it right here. Valley trays. Add it to the collection. I mean, the push rods are even clean. Definitely gonna need a board job. That's not good. And it's not factory head gaskets. These heads have been off. These are fell pros. So I got this other head off on the passenger side and things look respectable like I'm not going to complain about that but still the other cylinder this engine is going to need a bore job but the re reason I really fired the camera up is because I took the timing cover off the engine right there on the floor check this shit out this is a rare occurrence this engine's got mileage on it you can see all the play in the chain but what do you notice is different about this one Look at the cam. Look at the cam retard. All the nylon's still on the gear. You never see that. I told my dad about it and he freaked out. He's like, oh, you know why it's still there? Because it wasn't in on any of our cars. Yep, I've never seen one where all the nylon's still there. But still, the chain's still stretched. And you can see, move it all to one side. That's, that's what you're looking at here. All right, we'll be back again. So I got all the pistons and rods out, and the good news is this thing spins over like butter. 
Got to pull this crank next, get this block stripped completely, and then it should be on the way to the machine shop. Here you can see I have all the pistons laid out. I haven't cleaned them yet or done anything with them. I just numbered them and organized them on the bench. And then over here in the parts washer, I've got most of the parts from it, like the water pump that's getting pitched to the side. Uh, there's this weird plate that I found in the valley. I've never seen one of these before on a small block before, so it must be a big block thing. Uh, the camshaft, I want to go over and look at it closely at the lobes. I saved all the lifters. They're here in this box. They're all organized. And then that camshaft, don't worry, that's from the 307. I just hung on to it for good measure. Uh, that is a 350 piston. And then there's a 307 piston right there. So i got to organize a lot of this stuff. According, or of course, there's the uh, caps for the crank. The crank's right here on the floor behind this ashtray. And check this thing out. The crank's in really good shape. I'm probably going to have it polished anyway. I could get away without polishing it, I think, but it looks pretty good. Then there's the driver's side head with cylinder number 5 right there. As a matter of fact, UPS just rolled through and dropped off some new parts for the 455. There they are. Wonder what's inside. Guess you'll have to wait till later to find out. So that about wraps everything up for right now. Sometime next week I'm going to call the machine shop and get this block down there so they can hot tank it, they can magna flux it and check everything, even do a sonic check. Because my worst case scenario fear is that the block has a crack where that cylinder goes. Who knows why somebody had the heads off that to do gaskets before. Who knows how well they did them. The bolts weren't even on that tight when I took them off. Um, like I said, my first, my first thing I saw was why are there gaskets on the exhaust manifolds? Those don't come from the factory. So the top end of this engine has been apart. Who knows why? We need to find out. Best case scenario, the heads are cracked. That's not a big deal. I can get other heads. I may even be using other heads. So if the heads are cracked, big whoop. But anyway, that's going to wrap this up. Also, I'm going to be starting a Facebook and getting an email address for this channel as well. I'm probably going to be doing some changes. I'll probably get a new thumbnail. So the old hijacker logo will be disappearing eventually. Probably get a good picture of the cut list or maybe my dad's wagon or something for now. But stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think. What else you want to see. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.